everyone. Welcome back to the Why Not Academy. My name is Sarah. Today, I'm going to share with you 15 phrasal verbs that have at least three, at most seven different meanings. Imagine mastering these 15 phrasal verbs and instantly sounding like a native speaker. Intrigued? Let's dive into it and discover how versatile your vocabulary can be. The first one on my list is break up. The most popular meaning of break up is to end a romantic relationship or friendship. Like Sarah broke up with her boyfriend. But it can also mean making someone laugh a lot. For example, that comedy show really broke me up. Break up can also refer to dispersing a group of people, such as the police broke up the crowd. In the context of school, it means the school term is ending and students are going on holiday. For example, school breaks up next week. This phrasal verb can also mean separating something into smaller pieces. For example, the ice began to break up as the temperature rose. When it comes to signals, it means the transmission gets unclear or disrupted. For example, the telephone signal broke up during the storm. Finally, <laughs> break up can mean causing someone emotional distress. For example, the sad news really broke her up. Break it up! Break it up! Number two, we have drop off. Drop off, depending on the context, this phrasal verb can mean delivering someone or something to a particular place, usually in a vehicle. For example, I'll drop you off at school. Or Amazon just dropped off this package. It also means to gradually fall asleep. For example, I dropped off during the movie. Additionally, drop off can refer to a decline or decrease in amount, quality, or intensity. For example, sales have dropped off in the last quarter. Or the climber dropped off the edge. He's dropping AJ off later. Moving on to number three, get on get on. It can mean to board a form of transportation such as a bus, a train, a plane, or a bike. For example, she got on the bus. It can also refer to making progress with a task. For example, how are you getting on with your project? Additionally, get on can mean to have a good relationship with someone. For example, they get on really well with each other. It basically means the same thing as get along. They get along really well with each other. It can also indicate advancing in age. He's getting on in years. Lastly, get on can mean to manage or cope with a situation successfully. For example, in the sentence, she's getting on well in her new job. Come on, you guys, get on, get on! We're gonna get left behind. Number four, we have give up. Give up can mean to quit or stop doing something. Often because it is too difficult. For example, he decided to give up weight training. Another meaning is to surrender or admit defeat, typically in the context of a competition or conflict. For example, the thief gave up when he saw the police. Additionally, give up can mean to hand something over. For example, she gave up her seat for the elderly man. In a context of adoption, Give up means to relinquish parental rights and allow someone else to legally adopt and care for the child, such as she made a difficult decision to give up her baby for adoption. 
I give up. I can't. Next up, we have number five. Go off. Go off. It can mean to explode or create a sudden loud noise, as in the bomb went off. Or it can refer to an alarm or signal beginning or starting. My alarm goes off at 5 a.m. every day. Another meaning is something stops functioning, often due to power failure or malfunction. For example, the light went off suddenly. Go off can even refer to food becoming spoiled and unfit to eat. For example, the milk has gone off. Another meaning is to lose interest in something. For example, she went off the idea of becoming a doctor. Lastly, go off can mean to leave a place. She went off to find some food. You going off to Berkeley? Number six, we have hold up. Hold up can mean to cause a delay or to stop progress temporarily. For example, traffic was held up by an accident. It can also refer to robbing someone or a place using threats or force, typically with a weapon. For example, the bank was held up by three masked men. Another meaning is to physically support something to keep it from falling, as in the pillars hold up the roof. Additionally, hold up can mean to remain strong or functional under pressure. For example, she is holding up well with her new job. Lastly, it can mean to use something or someone as a model or example to be admired. She was held up as a model of integrity. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Number seven, we have look up. Look up can mean to search for information in a reference source, for example, a dictionary or the internet. For example, I need to look up the meaning of this word in the dictionary. It can also mean to improve or get better. For example, things are starting to look up after a difficult period. Additionally, look up can refer to seeking out and visiting someone you have not seen for a while. For example, if you're ever in town, make sure to look me up. Lastly, a more literal meaning to raise your eyes or gaze upwards. For example, he looked up at the sky to see if it was going to rain. Look me up when you get back. Number eight, we have make up. Make up can mean to invent a story or lie. For example, she made up an excuse for being late. It can also mean to reconcile or resolve differences. For example, they finally made up after their argument. Additionally, make up can refer to forming or constituting something. For example, women make up 50% of the workforce. Lastly, of course, we all know it means to apply cosmetics, as in she took an hour to make up her face. <laughs> I'm making it up. <laughs> Number nine, we have pick up. To pick up means to lift or collect something. For example, he picked up the book from the floor. It can also mean to learn or acquire knowledge, as in she picked up French quickly while living in Paris. Additionally, pick up can also refer to improving or increasing. For example, sales have picked up this quarter. 
Lastly, it can also mean to catch an illness. For example, he picked up a cold during his trip. We pick up the pace. Okay, number 10, we have put down. To put down means to place something on a surface. For example, she put down the phone. It can also mean to criticize or belittle someone. For example, he always puts her down in front of others. Additionally, put down can refer to euthanizing an animal. For example, they had to put down their old dog. Find the animal and put it down. Number 11, take off. To take off can mean to remove something. For example, please take off your shoes. It can also mean an aircraft leaving the ground, as in the plane will take off in 10 minutes. Additionally, take off can refer to becoming successful. For example, her career really took off after the TV show. Take it off. All right, number 12, turn up. I'm sure you know turn up means to increase volume or intensity, as in, can you turn up the music? But this phrasal verb can also mean to arrive or appear. For example, he turned up late to the party. Also, turn up can refer to discovering something unexpectedly. For example, my missing keys turned up in the drawer. Something will turn up. Number 13, take in. Take in can mean to understand or absorb information. For example, it's hard to take in all this information at once. It can also mean to deceive or trick someone, as in, she was taken in by his lies. Take in can also refer to allowing someone to stay in your home. For example, they took in a stray cat. Aww. Take it in. Take it all in. Number 14, we have turn over. To turn over can mean to flip or rotate something. For example, he turned over the page. It can also mean to transfer control or responsibility. For example, she turned over the business to her son. Additionally, turn over can refer to generating revenue as in the company turns over millions of dollars each year. Turn it over. Last but not least, at number 15, we have work out. To work out, of course, can mean to exercise. For example, he works out at the gym every morning. It can also mean to solve a problem as in, they worked out the solution together. The third meaning of work out can refer to something happening or developing in a particular way. For example, things worked out well in the end. Everything worked out. And there you have it. Mastering these 15 phrasal verbs can do wonders for your English skills. Not only will you sound more versatile and sophisticated, but you'll also find it easier to understand native speakers in everyday conversations. Plus, knowing these phrasal verbs can help you grasp the nuances of English, making it easier to enjoy English literature, movies, and even jokes. So there you are. You'll be amazed at how much more connected you feel to the language and the culture. 
Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment what you think, and subscribe for more exciting language learning content. And don't forget to connect with me on IG for more updates. See you next time. Take care.